Okay, so actually, welcome to the real part one of the Stanley Parable. Because I was just mind blown by not following the narrator. And this time, I'm actually gonna I follow him. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yes. I follow you this time, Mr. Buns. What do you think now? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let's go up this time. Broom closet, I don't even care to go there again. It was boring. Let's go up. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's Now office. you see, the reason no one follows you, Mr. Bond, is because you tell them what to do. No one likes a person like that. They never listened to him. And this is his ball. Oh! Fancy! Which way? Ex what? The executive bathroom? I want an executive bathroom. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. That would mean he's not a human Unraveled, either. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of two, eight, four, five. course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Two, eight, four, five. Stanley just it yet incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. That was Amazing. pure luck. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What? What passageway? Passages to me. Oh. Okay. So are they in here? Were they just playing a prank on me? Or what? What was it? There's no clear indication of where to go. Any secret behind here? No, Mr. Buns doesn't seem to get angry either when I go here. So let's go down this red elevator. Because red, you know, totally doesn't mean death. That light. The light! Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Diarrhea. Was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Heart attack? How did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay, well, I guess we'll just have to see. There's a clear-cut pathway, so... Easy to follow. Straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. No, I didn't. I went to escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Okay. Can I go back? Yeah, I can, but I don't want to. The escape is about making him choices. Was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No. At this point, no. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I believe you. Totally, I believe you. inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. 
He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. What? Now what? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I know, right? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. What's this? Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Credits? Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching this Let's Play. Thank you so much. And, um... Don't you worry, don't you worry, John! Okay, I... like this Let's Play. <laughs> I love this game. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Yeah, bye-bye, Stanley. She was giving me really bad advice there to quit the game. Mm-hmm.